Hi guys, in this video we will change uh, one thing which is uh, pretty annoying in uh, in in, uh, in in these games. I would say many games, but that's not the case. That's uh, when you are standing close to a wall and you look like this. It, the camera will go through a wall. Now, this is something you would probably uh, use in many games. So that's why I made it. A, 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 why, why I make a separate video for this one. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's fix that. Fix that. Uh, let's first take a look at what's going on. I mean, if we look at the uh, let's go. If we look at the player, I'm sorry, at the camera. This is the camera I selected. Now, if I look if I look like this, you can see it going back through the camera. So what we want to do, we want to create a a ray here. And detect if if, uh, if uh, anything is between the camera and our and uh, and our player, and if it does, we're gonna move the the camera to that point where it's colliding, uh, even a little bit further. Okay. Um, so let's uh, let's get started by uh, drawing something uh, in our screen to see what's going on. Um, let's see let's open up our camera and here we have a target position which is the position where the com where the camera will move to so what we're gonna uh, do we're gonna create a factor 3 to uh, show where the um, where we are uh, tr trying to check the collision with so let's call this collision uh, check end so the target actually where we are colliding which will be our camera look target uh, position and we're gonna add the local players transforms up uh, like uh, here this part with the uh, with the height and um, let's uh, well, let's keep it like this first so now we have the the part where we are going to look again. Uh, look where we're looking at. So let's uh, call a line, uh, draw a line, draw a line, and we're going to draw a line from our target position. So where we want our camera to be. On target position towards the collision checked end. And let's uh, give it a color of uh, whatever blue, black, no blue. So now if we look again, we have a blue line now where our camera target is moving. Yeah, so what we want to do, we want to, at this point right here, we are intersecting the wall. So we, at this point, we want to get the hit here and then move our camera at this spot. Okay. So to do it, we're going to use a line cast so if it's a it's a ray cast between two points so it's a uh, if we uh, type of physics and then it's a line cast and which takes in uh, a, a number of overloads but we're gonna use this one with a start factor and end factor and we're gonna get the hit info from it so this will be our uh, target uh, no let's cast from our collision check and so maybe it's our collision wrong name we're gonna change that uh, and we're gonna towards our position uh, yeah and then we're gonna out the hit so let's get a variable for it so uh, rate cast hit hit out hit there we go so now we have the hit here so then we can say target position because we're gonna change it to a new factor three, uh, which will be the hit point, uh, hit point X. So it's the position where the point hits. The uh, Y value will be the Y value of our target position uh, still. So we don't change change that one. And for the Z uh, ZX, sorry, Z value, we also get the uh, point. Okay. So let's see what happens now. 
So here's our player, and now we move backwards, and then you can see that the camera is staying at the spot. Yeah, and if you look in the lower right here at my game window, you can see that our player is is um, nice. It's uh, it's uh, getting closer, but if we look really close here, you can still see I'm I'm peeking through the wall here. Now there are uh, multiple ways to fix this and one is to uh, decrease the clipping plane. But if we decrease it, um, I will show you to like something very low. You can see it's fixed. Well, it's, it's not even entirely fixed. Can we, we cannot even get this anything lower. So this isn't, this isn't the solution, but it sometimes uh, works to lower the uh, the near factor the near clipping plane but I really don't suggest you do it because if you lower the clipping plane the far plane will introduce set fighting more in the in the in the distance so you can use only a, a small far plane if your near plane is very low okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, simply add a little bit here to the uh, to the point so what we're gonna do uh, vector 3 um, how do we call this one hit point how uh, creative uh, will be our hit point uh, will be a sorry new vector 3 hit point point X and we are going to uh, add the hit point uh, normal the hit normal sorry hit normal on the x-axis and we're gonna add like uh, 20 centimeters to it okay so this is the one this is will be the uh, hit uh, y hit point y and we're gonna add the z-axis will be the hit point z-axis and we're gonna add the hit normal uh, Z and we multiply that by 0.2 uh, as well. This will be, of course, hit point. Okay, so now we can say hit point X and add the hit point Z. Okay, uh, let's get rid of this uh, blue line here, we don't need it anymore. Let's call this collision target direction no target point collision target point so now we are a little bit more floating against the wall but then you see it won't um, go behind the wall anymore okay well uh, one more minor thing I would like to add, oh, one more thing I see here. What we could do is when we get close to the play, we could fade out a little bit. Um, but I'm going to keep it like this for now. It's, uh, it works the way uh, you usually want it to work. Okay, so uh, one more little thing I would like to add. Um, maybe this is getting uh, a lot of code. So let's refactor this a little bit. Oops, typo here collision target point so what we're going to do we're going to create a new method here a private void a check camera or maybe handle camera collision uh, like this and it's going to take two very um, two uh, values here one is will be the vector 3 of our uh, two target and the other factor three is gonna be one calling in by reference. So it will be a ref factor three from target. Now what this basically does, oops. What this does, any variable we pass in here will be uh, assigned to the value um, by reference. So uh, if we cut this part here, we're going to change the two target from our collision target point and our from target was our all target position. So now we are assigning a new from target and any value which is assigned to this value 
will get new value. So if we type here handle camera collision and we give the collision target point, maybe collision destination, and we're going to add the reference of our, our uh, target position. So basically we're just going to call this function and if this variable gets changed in this function it will be changed and then well you know what I mean. Okay so uh, this is it. Now one more thing I would like to change uh, while we're at it because this video is still uh, very short uh, is our event bus because when we did the player animation I thought it was uh, no not the animation the state I think in the previous video I thought it was pretty um, a lot of work to, to type you know this last part so I just want to pass in the the callback method and not the uh, not instantiating an event listener so what we're gonna do if we open up the event listener we're gonna create a new add listener same name as the method here below but instead of accepting the event listener we're going to accept the event listener callback this one as the, the method only and then we're just going to do add listener name uh, new event listener And then we're going to say the method equals to the method. Okay, which does exactly the same, only this shortens our way of writing code here because we could simply say we got so we can create a new overload, the listener, and the one with the method. So we just say any method here, toggle cover. That's it, makes it more easy to use. Uh, we've used it at some other spots as well, I'm not really sure where. Um, now to find out, we're gonna check it here. In our event bus, of course, ammo pickup. Oh, we're not really doing anything here, so we can also get rid of this. This was just when we were testing it. So we don't have we we aren't using it any uh, anywhere else. Okay, so that's it. <coughs> we added um, camera movement by oh, I mean camera collision. Um, very easy to use in other, in uh, different games as well. See you next one. Take care.